let me get a hold of this big toenail here. Let's stand up for this guy. Okay, just kind of angle it back, not too big. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels. I have a gentleman here. It's been about a year since his last nail trim, and I wanted to show this to you particularly because some of these nails, I can see how hard this would be to trim him at home. It's almost, can you see how that's completely, almost a circle here? And then some of these have kind of skin and debris underneath of it, and that can be challenging as well, because if you get that skin, then you're gonna clip, um, get yourself. Bleeding, I know that. Exactly, we don't want that. All right, well, let's get started here. So were you getting your nails trimmed every couple of months? I was doing every three months uh, until I moved to Kentucky. Then I waited a while and I finally found a place where I finally decided to, you know, start getting them trimmed again. And I went there twice and like I say, uh, I, I just didn't like it. Service the yeah. The end product or whatever. Yeah. Well, how we do it here is I trim all the length of the nail, and then we use a Dremel. Oh, oh, okay. A Dremel electric file. Yeah. Well, they. That was one thing that the other place didn't do. You know, that you just snip, snip, snip. Bye. You oh no. See you next time. Oh no. So after we Dremel, we actually um, lotion you up, give you a little foot massage, the whole, all the works except for soaking. We don't do the soaking around here. Most people soak their feet for about 30 minutes right before they come in because it makes the nails nice and soft and more comfortable while you're um, having them trimmed. Yeah, I know my, both my parents, whenever I used to take them in for their nail trimmings, uh, the doctor's office actually soaked them, then trimmed uh -huh. them, and, and then uh, uh, when you drop them, you know, pop them off or whatever. Oh, I, went. I was in another state. I don't know. You know what? My grandpa was a podiatrist, and uh, he used to do that as well. So they used these big whirlpools. Well, they found that there was a lot of cross-contamination going on um, if they soaked them like that. Yeah, well, the place I took my parents to, they just have the little, you know, small individual they chain oh. everything between the patients. How neat. Maybe I can get you all lined up in the waiting room. <laughs> Soak them out there. <laughs> So this is an area to be real careful. So there's debris and then there's also that skin under there. And I don't want to take a big hunk because I can see there is some still nail there, but we'll get the Dremel because we don't want to get that skin. Well, I'm used to a little bit of blood every now and then. Well, I'm not used to a little bit of blood. <laughs> okay, take little bites and get it going. This guy is headed the other way. Also, a softening agent, if you have some Vic Sab at home, would help soften it. So when you go to trim them, a lot easier to well, get a good grip. Before I show up, I'll soak them, like you said, you know, yeah. and then that will make things easier. I've been wanting to get one of those things for years, just watching, you know, my parents. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the things I'd like to call in for you to the uh, compound pharmacy is there's quite a bit of debris in between the toes and just some dried skin. Yeah. I think it'd be a good, um, it's a foot bath that has a medicated, I guess, powder that you blend with water. It's got an antifungal, antibacterial, so it's great to help prevent any infection. And it's an agitator, so it will help kind of get this debris out. Well... Should I use that with or without Epsom salts or what? You'll just use the medicated uh, powder only. Oh. Yeah, only. You won't okay. have to worry about what we'll Let's get to the tip here. And a lot of this is by feel. Because, you know, you, I can't see under the nail there. And the most common question I get asked is why I hold the nippers like this. It looks very awkward, I guess, to most people. Actually, I was reading this weekend. I do it because it's more comfortable. I have a hypermobility disorder, so I, I, my hand doesn't fatigue. Um, but actually, it provides greater precision in these corners. So this is 
I guess the old way they used to do it. Hit your button. It didn't seem to me at all. <laughs> oh. Somebody go. Lots of people think it looks odd. It's kind of crazy. It depends on what you're comfortable with. <laughs> exactly. Whatever. I used to go to the nursing homes and assisted living facilities and trim. I mean, gosh, 50, 60, 70 people a day sometimes. So it's amazing how you compensate to uh, learn to have the endurance. But this is the way my grandpa taught me, so it's the only way I know. Well, he's a good teacher. <laughs> now, where did you move from? Well, my last move was out of Maryland. I was, uh, so, well, just, it was part of Silver Spring. It was uh, only Clover Leader. I retired from the first time. The first time? I hear that a lot. That people retire multiple times. Well, I'm still working part time just to get me out of the house. Yeah. Do something. You know, I mean, talk and see people <laughs> and whatever. A body in motion stays in motion. Something like that. <laughs> All right, let me get a hold of this big tone out here. To stand up for this guy. Okay, just kind of angle it back, not too big. Yeah, those guys are wrong. Angle for you. Sorry, I'm No, you're fine. No, I was talking to her. Oh, oh, okay. oh, you're fine, you're fine. So you said that took you 45 minutes to do the left big toenail? Well, just fighting to get the thing to where I could reach it, and then I had to take like a couple seconds between snips or whatever. Mm -hmm. Did you have the regular nail nippers? Well, I have uh, ones like you're using there. Oh, okay. They're not, not quite as, as large as yours. It's, you know, it came in a kit, you know, uh, mm -hmm. with you know, like three. It has the old nail trimmers, tongue trimmers, and those uh, like side cutters like you have. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a brush for your fingernails and well. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Sounds like. Let me get the Dremel. Ooh, got our nails watered down here. I have been looking for a water Dremel. It is not easy to find. The um, they cost like twenty three hundred bucks. We've well, got. If you even mention the word medical, that's it. Oh right. <laughs> it's a, uh, we have about 13 exam rooms, so that could get costly, but I am looking for one. I'd love for it to be able to kind of keep that nail dust down. I can tell that one's going to give you a little more. Also, I'm looking for a diamond head first. I've got those ordered. I could not find any disposable diamond head shapes. Um, first, so we've got some regular ones that we can auto clay between use. Coming. Well, is there something wrong with my diet that adds to all that? That is an excellent build, question. Build up stuff, is there something wrong with your diet? A lot of people think that it is food related. In fact, it's because that over time, the circulation gets worse and um, it makes it easier for us to pick up fungus. And so the fungus is what causes it to get thick. So if you see, basically starch is like little white dots on the nail. And a lot of women, especially when they remove that nail polish, they think 
that it uh, came from the nail polish. Well, do they but, make a, uh, uh, like a, a medication or something like what you're spraying on there? This is actually just water. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, a medic so the, um, the compounded soak that I am having sent to your house, that will help with the fungus because it does definitely have an antifungal in there. However, with your circulation, there's not a lot that we can do to get rid of it because the medication that's the gold standard, which is called Lamacil, is heavily metabolized by the liver. And not having good circulation, how much of this is even gonna get down into the toenails? more here, a little more there. <laughs> so I would love for you to go home and soak your feet really good and then just um, kind of get in between the toes. I'm going to clean you up in just a second, but there's a lot of just dry skin. I think it'll come off. How are they feeling so far? Well, they should be more comfortable in. Well, I really don't feel my my feet and toes a lot because I, I, I have back injuries and you know metal mm -hmm. picks out and all that. And there's a lot of nerve damage yeah. as a result of it. And I actually. Uh, Really cool, I guess, yeah. You said that came from your back? Yeah. Okay, let's get you cleaned up. So this will be well, kind of... You know, what you said about between the nails, usually whenever I shower, I'll do like what you're doing there with the washcloth. Mm -hmm. Get in between there and, you know, the and everything. Perfect. But, you know, it doesn't... Doesn't always seem to help. I don't know if it does. You're getting a lot of um, buildup um, from the, the nail and the skin. And so I think that's kind of getting all of that off there and down to the fresh skin is going to take, you know, a month or so. Because all this is just kind of flaking off. Give me two seconds here. I even tried taking a real stiff brush, you know, and taking on all the dead skin off that lasts about two days <laughs> <laughs> and that's what fungus takes about two months to get um get rid of it and you're using your cream twice a day at that it just you know it lives in our shoes and it's so easy to uh, have that build up how you doing up there i'm not bothering you these edges am i me, no, okay. I, like I say, I, I, you don't feel it, all right. I already even know you're down here. <laughs> <laughs> so all this debris would be really good for a good soaking I wish at I home. I get down there and clean it up the way you're doing. <laughs> I can teach you some yoga moves. Just do that say that again? I said I can teach you some yoga moves. Oh, <laughs> I think it's late for that. Sometimes when I try to, uh, well, I actually every day when I try to put my shoes and socks on and stuff, it's, I, I'm thinking, well, Regal Mortis is already setting in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> actually, once I get all these corners, I'm going to have my assistant Alexis come in and clean everything up. Yeah, all this debris, we're going to get a good washcloth and really get all this cleaned up. Well, I'm kind of hoping since I bought that silver thing that it would do something Sorry. more than what I'm, what I'm able to do on a daily basis. Yeah. Things. You know, like I guess I really can't get down there and, and uh, so much you don't do any scraping or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll find a really long handled stiff brush that I can <laughs> reach 
Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. Because the biggest thing, I've, I've got a lot of the nail, but the cuticles are so dry around it. You need a, a good cuticle repair oil. Okay, let's go over here. See if we can get... That looks good. That's just a tuft of skin. That'll come back. You want to get any uh, kind of royalties from this film? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> the royalty is me. <laughs> All that is just built up. This is where you got to be careful. You want to get the dead skin and the callus, but you don't want to get the nail. Or you don't want to get the skin. Okay, so you can see it's really hard to see. I guess the title of this film would be the result of major neglect. <laughs> I don't know if it's that bad. <laughs> What's a good title for this one? The dead cuticle skin that keeps coming and coming. How about that? We'll see. Yeah, I just can't. It's all that, the cuticle. So, thinking if this happens to you at home, give us some tips. We have a new product coming out that would help with this. Are you able to reach your feet at all? If I really struggle. If you what? If I really struggle. If you really, okay. Just can't. Like, yeah. even, like I say, even just to get my socks on, I have to sit on like the edge of the bed and I have to yeah. pull my foot up and kind of hook it on, on the calf of my other leg. And then whenever I reach down, it's, it, it takes a lot of effort just to reach down and get the sock over my toes. And it's, it's the same thing for both, both legs or both feet. Whatever. Well, hopefully the soak will help significantly with that. <laughs> well, I need to get my cleanup crew. She's gonna come in and we're gonna keep working on this because we're not done yet, okay? Give us just a minute.
All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't for forget, subscribe below, comment. I love reading your reactions and whatnot, and I'll see you next time.